every book has an author, a summary, and we know when the book was published or written. Take a look at this book, Martin's Big Words, for example. This book is about the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and it was written by Doreen Rappaport. This book was published in 2001. Have you ever wondered about this book, the Bible? What is the Bible about? Who wrote it? And when was it written? Well, the Bible is a story of how God created the earth. It leads up to when Jesus came to the earth and ends by telling what will happen when Jesus comes back and make everything right and new again. The Bible was written thousands of years ago and God has kept the Bible safe from being destroyed for all of time. Say it with me, God speaks through the Bible. Now, do you know who wrote the Bible? It wasn't just one person. God used many different men to write down his message to the world. He guided them in the words to use when they wrote the books of the Bible. It took different men in different places over 1600 years to write the Bible. What's amazing is that everything in God's word agrees with one another. Some of the men God chose to write down his messages were called prophets or God's messengers. One of the prophets was Jeremiah. At that time, many of God's people broke their promise to follow and obey him. They were purposefully um, sinning against God. Because of his great love, God wanted his people to turn back to him. God gave Jeremiah a message to give to the people. He warned them about what would happen if they did not turn from their sin. One person who did not turn from his sin, even after many warnings, was King Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim was King Josiah's son. King Josiah loved and obeyed God, but his son Jehoiakim wanted to destroy God's word. He did not obey or care about God. Because the king did not follow God, many of his people also turned against God. This did not please God. Jeremiah told his friend Baruch to write God's message and read it to all the people so they would turn to God. Baruch read the message on the scroll to the leaders. As he was reading, the leaders began to look at each other in, with fear in their eyes. They realized how wrong they were. They were living lives that were displeasing to God. When the leaders read God's message, God helped them to understand how they needed to change their lives. In fact, they understood how important it was to tell more people about God's word. The leader said, we must report all of this to the king. When Jehoiakim heard the words of the scroll, he became very angry. He chose to ignore it and go his own way instead of God's way. In fact, Jehoiakim hated God's word so much that as the scroll was being read to him, he cut off parts with a knife and threw it into the fire. He was trying to destroy the word of God. But God's word can never be destroyed. It is written in Isaiah 48 that the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. No matter how hard people try to get rid of the Bible, God will always protect it. After the scroll was burned, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah again, telling him to take another scroll and rewrite everything that had been burned. Even though the king tried to destroy God's word, God saved it. His word lasts forever. It has lasted all this time, so you and I can read it today. And did you know that as of September 2020, the full Bible has been translated into 700 languages, and the New Testament alone has been translated into additional 1,548 languages. And portions of the Bible or uh, small parts of the Bible stories have been translated into another 1,138 languages. Also, the Bible is the most read book and the best-selling book in the world. God wants everyone in the world to read the Bible because it is the greatest story of all time. It is the story of God's love for us. Sometimes when we read the Bible, it can be hard to understand the words and the verses. When this happens, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand it. And you can spend time thinking and meditating on those verses. Also, you can ask someone like your parents and your teachers and um, to help you understand the Bible. God has great stories and sometimes even hidden messages for us in the Bible. God speaks through the Bible.